All right, go ahead. Ready? Yep. And these are identical parts to the last ones? Yep. All right, so we got a casting. Okay, looks decent. I'll just throw it on there. So what I do is, you can film this, I've got tapered bushing that's equal to the bushing on the part internally. All right, so I turn the spill on, you can see how it's running true. Okay, agree? Yep. All right, so we're gonna put this on. And all I did is when I when I did these first, I took the washer that you had okay. on your part. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So put it on. See? Yep. No wiggle, well, wiggles because I gotta push it on. But yep. So it's basically the end of a crankshaft at this point. Pretty much. Yep. Okay. going to do is tighten this up. Snug it up. Okay. And then what we're going to do is turn the spill on. Now what I'd have to do to really put it to is put an indicator. Okay. But I can see it from here. Even though it's a different position, it's look at your cast. See it? It's not totally true and straight. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. But what I want to do to prove because I don't have a program ready for this yet. No, that's fine. You're just checking what right I'm out. gonna do is touch off this part with a tool. Okay. Then we're going to manually spin it. Yep. So we can see where it touches, yeah. Non-magnetic. Now is I'm taking the tool, and in between the tool and the part is a piece of paper, which is about four or five thou thick. Right. So I'm going to touch off the tool till it grabs the paper. Okay, so we're grabbing. Okay. Two, three. So one, two, three. So we're grab. Put out. I'm just gonna manually see what happens. I shouldn't have no. There should be no gap at all. Okay. Slight bit of gap. I don't know what the run out is. Okay. Oh boy, these seem pretty good. So what I did on your last one is I took a sharpie to this side. Okay. And then I took a sharpie to the other side where the magnet is. Oh. And I just turned it till it cleaned up. Now on these, they seem these seem to be running fairly fairly decent. Yeah. But that that's what I do is I and I just touch okay. off. And what I did on the other ones, I took about. 15,000 off or so like that. Okay. And put it back in and it cleared your little... So it is out around, yeah. Yeah, yeah it is okay. out around. The thing you're having is you've got a CNC machine part. Yeah. That's something that's pretty true, but it's cast, so it's yeah. not going to be totally true. So then when you brought that part in, said so shift it over... Yeah, it's going to be kind of oblong We there. put it in a V-block on the shaft yeah. and turned it. Gotcha. And we were getting a massive amount of run out on that okay. one. Okay. So that's what we did instead of positioning over. Gotcha. So if I come out five now, so 
what I'll do is I'm gonna mark these up. Alright, so we'll go to the other side. So what we're going to do is we'll touch off. So I'm in 1,000 time on my increments here. I'm just going to do it until I touch. Okay, look. See there's a line there? Yep. Come to the other side? Nothing. No line, yeah. It's kind of oblong on the magnet side, huh? But if you actually, Jason, if you look down this, let me turn it on. You look down it. You can look towards the tool, you can see it's running out. It's more easy to see if your eyes are down. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of has a walk to it there. Yeah, it kind of has a walk to it. Yeah. That's what you're saying, yeah. So that's that's how we figured it out last time. And then I just okay. And I just turned it. Yeah. Until it cleaned up. But what I had to do is after it cleaned up, I pulled it off mm -hmm. and put it in, in your where you had. And then it fit. It no, it didn't. It didn't. It fit. still hit. Oh, okay. So I went and took another five tail off. Okay. It still hit. So I took another five. Then we we're good. Okay. So it's just more. It needs to be brought in a little bit more, huh? Yeah. Okay. And then I was concerned that. I didn't hopefully it take too much off. Here yeah, no, it's no, it's fine. It's, yeah, the air gap's fine. So. so that's what I do, and I just program it to turn it. And that'll pretty much make it straight. So I like to see if you want to film that. So you got it, no line there. Yep. And if we come back around, you touch the whole time. Yep. So yeah, it's like oblong got the magnet. Yeah. So what it's doing is going like this. Gotcha. Yeah. And that's why you get you spin it around and it you get that up. hit, yeah. You get the, the high bind, spot yeah. On. That's what because it would only bind up, and that's where you got to set your yeah. air gap. That's the magnet. Yeah, that's where your high spot is. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. So since I got this set up, I might as well program and get them done for you. Yeah, there we go. So you're happy with the other one? I forgot to check the fucking diameter. <laughs> no, it looks good. I think I took 15 or 20 off the other okay. one. Okay. Yeah. So maybe that's what I'll do on this one. Okay. I'll just mic it and you know. Done well, that pretty much shows us that this has a little bit of run out there. So, yeah. all right, well, thank you. Yep, no problem.